What is up guys? Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda on their website this week. This is going to be episode 354 within my series but without further ado guys let's just jump straight into the video. Composite barrels and sacks coming in at 5.1 kilobytes of a download adds ingredients such as lavender and honeycomb and etc to barrels and sacks as well as the standard foods such as potatoes, carrots and apples with etc. While this mod is compared to other versions this particular mod author has interest of updating it has much lower chance in all of the spawns the amount given to increase. There's also a slightly less chance of finding food in a container as well 60% versus 70% standard but also with higher quantities this was done to keep the food in the game but also give more a reason to check those containers as found as a consistent stream of ingredients will need to be implemented within your gameplay such as leveling up traits if not keeping and maintaining the HP during combats if run out of potions this is a very interesting mod as you can tell on screen now two different comparisons here went to a brewery to find if all the ales and stuff were boosted they were ever so slightly but after that visiting a farm to see that all of the ingredients are hugely stacked within some of the containers the first vampire lame coming in 26.6 megabytes of a download this adds three followers lame and her two followers morgan and aurelian they can be found in the mortal inn and they will be using their own models meshes and textures aka body and skin mods have been installed on top of this so for three individual and unique followers to be coming in at that download size is absolutely insane they are beautiful indeed every single one of even the male is really well done personally i think this is absolutely insane but there has been a fourth followers been added but you will have to find him on the particular update if you want to seek out where it is due to pre-recording this only shown three then head over to the professor on our website click the link and have a little read up for a standalone follower mod for three interesting ones if not the thumbnail taker which is going to be an in-game screenshot which is absolutely breathtaking this one for the download size is definitely worth picking up life song coming in at 938.6 kilobytes of a download hidden at the center of the roadside ruin stands a glowing stone touch it and you will be teleported to a secret ancient grove patrolled by nature's own guardians the spriggans if you will survive strong enough and seem worthy you will discover a staff that contains and controls the power of nature itself life song there's much more description if you you guys want to read up on there life song is going to be the primary power within this particular facility and it comes with a load of other different things outside of the realm itself that this is staff is going to be entrapped within life song magic does not end there however there is a ton of other different attributes to go alongside with this one not only do you get an interesting description and a backstory with this particular mod the actual aesthetics to do with the mod as a whole while going in to that sort of ancient burial ground where the staff lays and lies and the backstory to go with it is really insane there's a ton of stuff to read up on if you're struggling struggling to find it if not do what i did and pretty much just play the sort of the mini quest to obtain this particular staff overall i think it's absolutely great this is going to be a port from the nexusmods.com and for that download size for an interesting new staff slash quest to be added to the game it's definitely worth picking up and trying descendants of house lalu is going to be our next spot within this video coming in at 111.4 kilobytes of a download four descents of the great house alu have a Emerged from the edge of Riverwood. Interior of the Honor, this particular rebuild of the Great House of the Four Dunmer Keep, to their tradition while ever in memory of the past atrocities that have happened within this particular family. Now you're probably thinking, what do you actually get with this particular mod? I'm not going to be showing all of it, but again, it's just going to be more than a player home for this particular one. To undiscover the truth and to see what tales lie within this mod, you will need to talk to all one of them that are located within the settlement to prompt a quest this is absolutely insane to see that this is going to be a ps4 exclusive as it stands in time is very nice indeed so if you're looking for a small mini quest with a pretty interesting backstory and a crazy looking player home then head over to the site and grab this one now 
Dream Strider Armor Reclamation Morrowind is the last spot within this video, coming in at 14 megabytes of a download. Adds the Dream Strider Armor from Morrowind and thrown and crafted straight into our game. For this one, you can craft it up, but the easiest way for me is head over to Whiterun into the Drunken Huntsman, and in the back room on the table, past closed doors, will be a strong box. Open it up, and you will receive 10 sets of this particular armor. It's very strange to see that there are going to be 10 sets with in this particular mod but if you ever for some reason lose one of those particular sets you've got another nine very nice indeed been following these mods for a very long time the mod author did make a collection pack of a lot of these armors but it's nice to see that they are making more for the site this week so guys, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too and you've made it this far and you haven't already, click that subscribe and it helps me out an awful lot. We are very close and chugging our way along to 10K. But if you're viewing in the future, hopefully we have reached that. And if you haven't as well, click the little bell to get a notification for every single time I post a bit of content like this to the channel. But until the next one, guys, kill a kefir and get a kebab.